join E. Join E. Let's put an E in the middle of it as well. Let's see whether this is sophisticated or not. I have a force coming in, which is F, F, E. So let's draw it. This is F, F, E. I have a force going out inclined F, E, B. F, E, B. I have a force going out like this, an internal force, and it's E to C. So F, E, C. And I have an inclined force going from D to E. F, D, E. See, I'm just looking at this border of E. This force coming in, this force going out, this force going out, this force coming in at joint E. Just considering joint E now. Is this correct? Yes. I have inclined forces, so quickly I draw the 2D forms of them. And I assume this is alpha, and I assume this is alpha. Again, I'm lucky, both of the angles are the same, so it really doesn't matter. But even if I didn't know what is the angle, I can give it in parameters and I can simply figure it out. How do I divide this to component? This will be FDE sine of alpha. This will be FDE cosine of alpha. This will be F E B sine of alpha and this will be F E B cosine of alpha. Again, whatever force is beside the angle, we put it as cosine. Whatever uh, the other one is, we put it sine of alpha. Can I write the equations of equilibrium for this? For sure. Let's say summation of all forces in x direction equals to zero and let's consider this direction positive. I have this guy, this guy, and this guy, so three of them. So let's say whatever is going this side, F, F, E, is equal to whatever is coming from the other side, which is F, E, B times cosine of alpha plus F, D, E times cosine of alpha. From this, if I simplify it, I have two cosines of alpha. So let's say I can simplify it in this term that F E D, meaning this guy, is equal to F F E this minus F E B times cosine of alpha so this I'm just bringing it here and I'll just divide it by cosine of alpha why did I do that let's get rid of this but let's bring this back because before I have figured out what is F E F F E F and F F E are the same so I already know this I'm still looking for F E B let's see whether I can figure that out so now summation of all forces in y direction equals to zero going bottom to top positive I have this force this force and this force can I write all of the ones coming downward positive? You see, after a while, I'm doing it in my mind. I don't need to like write it properly. But if you're still not comfortable with it, feel free. Do it one by one in one direction. So F E C, which is coming downward, plus the same one, which is coming downward as well. E B sine of alpha is equal to the one which goes up. It's exactly like writing this one minus this one minus this one. Then these two minus, I took them to the other side. So now they're positive, equal to this. From this, can I conclude FEB 
is equal to f e d times sine of alpha minus f e c divided by that sine of alpha if i now know f e b and if i put it here then i can figure out this why can i do that do i have f e c not yet do i have f e d not yet so i have to wait until another joint comes in but so far i can write them as parameters that as soon as i figured out one of these i'll just replace it and calculate it now let's concentrate on zone b so far we did a f and e let's go back to b hopefully when i solve b i'll get one of these for e and then if i put it here i'll get the rest of the e so let's go join joint b so i have b joint b what is coming out what is going in there is a p there is a force which is known there is one force going up which is f b e b f sorry yeah this one going up i'm just looking at joint b now there is one coming out like this which is f b c from here to here another one inclined f b e f b e am i missing anything yes there is another one going out f b a again quickly because i have an inclined one i just make it to components i assume that this is alpha so this is f b e cosine of alpha and this will be f b e sine of alpha be careful to be as clean as possible so you don't mix it now i can totally forget about this inclined one because i have the, its representatives can i write the equations of equilibrium yes let's write it summation of all forces in x equals to zero i'm considering this direction as positive let's say fbc fba let's say whatever is going this way is equal to the other ones so fba equals to these two which are going to the other way fbe cosine of alpha plus fbc from this can i conclude that fbc is equal to fba minus fbe cosine of alpha yeah whenever i figured out any of these members i can sort it out but so far i know that i have already calculated this i have already calculated this so a b a b so if i know this guy and i know the alpha i just need b e which i haven't figured out yet but give me some time we will figure it out now there's another equation as well summation of all forces in y direction equals to zero let's say anything going upward will be positive that means this two is equal to p because these two are going upward this one is going downward so what i can write f b f plus f b e times sine of alpha is equal to p can i write that f b e is equal to p which is one of my knowns it's a value minus f b f divided by that sine of alpha let me see whether i have calculated any of these do i know this from this yes 
So if I know this, then I know FBE. And if I know FBE, I can put it here and then I know FBC. If I know FBC, this is done. If I know FBE, this is done. And yes. So, so far so good. And then remember this, out of these that I have found, I can put this back to the joints E and I can figure out the rest of them. But still, we have done A, we have done F, we have done E, we have done B, and only two left. So bear with me, let's go to the next ones. Let's select join C. Oopsie. Mm -hmm. Join C. And apparently I ran out of paper. Joint C. Again, kind of looks like B. So let me draw it here. Join C. I have this one going out, FCE. I have this one going toward D, so let's say FCD. I have a force, which can be the monkey hanging from it. It's known as well. And I have FBC. This one is easier than joint B because joint B had this BE in it. This one is just simply a cross. Can I write the summation of um, forces? Sure. Let's write it with blue. So summation of all forces in x direction equals to zero. Let's say this is the positive direction. So FBC is equal to FCD. Perfect. And summation of all forces in y direction equals to zero. Going upward. So this guy is equal to this. Wow, easy. FCE is equal to P. Now what has happened? I figured out what is FCE. So if I have this, now I just need one more to solve for E, which knowing this and this, I can solve FEF because I have already calculated for F. Knowing all of these guys, I just need this. The only thing left is FCD, which is this. And if I have already calculated FBC, I already know this as well. But let's not stop here. Well done on these two. Let's finish it. Let's go and solve it for joint D as well. So the only one left is joint D now. Let's take it out and see what happens. Joint D. Looks something like this. A force comes inside it uh, from E to D. So F E D. Another force comes from this side. Or sorry, it goes outside. You see the, the, the arrows are for tension. So it goes outside. So let's call it F D C or C D doesn't matter and then I have a reaction here RD which was already calculated as P can I write the equations of equilibrium yes summation of all forces in X direction positive that means F DC or CD really doesn't matter because it's just whatever goes outside is equal to the other side as well is equal to the components of this guy. Let's draw its components. This and this. Let's call this alpha. So this will be F E D sine of alpha. And this will be F E D cosine of alpha. So I just need to put this guy there. This equals to this is this direction, this is the other direction, F E D sine of alpha. Okay, perfect. Let's have this for now. 
I'll just write the summation of all forces in y direction equal to zero as well. And let's go upward positive. So this guy is equal to this guy. So RD, which is actually P, is equal to F E D cosine of alpha. RD is already P. I have already calculated it in here. Yes, RD is equal to P by considering the entire thing as a joint, as a solid uh, member. Now, if I simplify this, F E D is actually P divided by cosine of alpha which all of them are known. Now, if I have this guy, I can simply put it here and I can calculate this DC as well. So already FED is calculated and I have already calculated it uh, ED and DC. So everything is calculated. Now, having all of these three, it's just a matter of calculating this as well, which I have already calculated it. It was just a matter of putting a P cosine or something somewhere. So now you have calculated every single actual force in every single member of this truss. If they are positive, that means your initial assumption was correct. We are now currently doing it based on parameters, so I don't know how, whether P is 5 or 6, but seems like everything is going positive. So the directions that I have guessed, there is a high chance that this member is under tension while this member is under compression. As you have noticed probably, it took us about 40 minutes to solve such a structure going through method of joints. Now, let's go to part two and see how I can solve this through method of sections.